Zoologists study the physical characteristics of animals, animal behavior, and the impacts humans have on wildlife and natural habitats. Most zoologists work in offices, laboratories, or outdoors. Depending on their job, they may spend considerable time in the field gathering data and studying animals in their natural habitats. To be a zoologist, you need a bachelor's degree, which is generally four years, a master's degree for higher level investigative or scientific work, and a PhD for independent research positions and for university research positions. Zoologists analyze the influence that human activity has on wildlife and their natural habitats. They write research papers, reports, and scholarly articles that explain their findings and give presentations on research findings to academics and the general public. Zoologists need to be critical thinkers and possess excellent problem solving skills, emotional stamina and stability, observational skills, and outdoor skills. Being a zoologist is rewarding in so many ways. I get a chance to make a difference and have a purpose greater than myself, even greater than my community. To save a species or connect with a child are the two most important moments and most rewarding moments of my career. Our jobs are the coolest jobs on the planet. Who else gets to go on boats and do research with marine animals? I get to do amazing things. I get to go to classrooms and talk to students about fishes. I get to talk with people about, you know, what's happening at places of entertainment like SeaWorld. What does that mean and how does it get there? Every time I go to Congo, I discover new species of fish. And it's, it's remarkable. But when you say you discover new species, obviously the local people know those fishes and they have names for those fishes, but the scientific world doesn't know those fishes and it doesn't have names for those fishes. You have to know what fishes have been described from that region, what you might expect to find there. And then you find something that doesn't fit any of the descriptions. And you think, hey, maybe this is a new species. And that's really when the work begins. To keep learning about zoologists and wildlife biologists, read through the information below.